And going back to the shadows, there were several well-known locations that got their own sort of names and, and were well known for difficulties at different times of the day. There was a very well-known Twickenham shadow where half the grandstand shadowed the pitch. And until even quite recently, the centre court and number one court at Wimbledon had very difficult conditions late afternoon, early evening, very, very difficult. So this is where it's black on one side because of the shadow yeah. and it's white on the other. Well, it's, it's uh, green well, on the other if it's grass. Uh, and if you've got a player who's kicking the ball across this shadow, then you've got to make sure that you can see not only the ball, but also his face. So it's a judgment thing. And then when he kicks it the other way, it, w it would be overexposed, so it would just be a white ball. Uh, and the grass would all be almost white. So you've got to then stop it down. But then you've got to know that, is he going to kick it that way or not? And, and it, uh, it, there's a, an awful lot of, of judgment, which is, and we were engineers, we were trained as engineers. And the difference is, we were we now we were becoming operational engineers, which is more a, a artists sort of in a way. Breed, yeah. Breed. yeah, yeah. Of course, if it if if, you, if it went wrong, there was a, a shout on production talk back. You know, camera one, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs>